Hello and welcome. Today we will be driving the natural number e. And so we substitute e of x for p of x into that limit definition. And we get we get e to the x times e to the h minus 1 over h. And that is the limit as h approaches 0. All right, so and then we get this. Then we get the derivative with respect to x of e to the x is equal to that. We do L'Hopital's rule, and we get that. Then we're going to assume that the derivative with respect to a variable of e to that variable is equal to the e to that variable, where it's going to be equal to itself. And so we get the limit as h approaches 0 of e to the x times e to the h. Uh, it's going to be equal to e to the x, and we get uh, the derivative with respect to x of e to the x is equal to itself, e to the x. And so as we can see, the assumption and our final results are the same in the, in the respect that the derivative with respect to a variable of e to that variable is equal to e to that variable. So the logic over here checks out. All right, so now that we know that the derivative with respect to a variable of e to the variable is equal to e to that variable through this logic, uh, we're going to consider the Maclaren series. All right, and so now we're going to say that e to the t is equal to that because the radius of convergence is infinity. So we know the derivative with respect to a variable of uh, e to the x, or e to the any variable, or e to that variable, I mean, <laughs> sorry, uh, is equal to e to that variable. And so we know that e to that variable evaluated at that variable is equal to 0 is going to be equal to 1. All right, and so then if we substitute 1 in for t, then we get our e, and the e is going to be equal to the limit as big N approaches infinity of the sum of little n is 0 to big N of 1 over little n factorial. All right, so in this side, we're going to try to uh, derive e from the binomial theorem. So we already know that the derivative with respect to a variable of e to that variable is equal to e to that variable. And so we also know uh, our first definition of e, which is that limit on the previous slide. So we're going to try to approach this from the binomial theorem. We're going to try to see if we could get a variable plus some other number uh, to the big N is equal to um, that one limit. So Let's try it out. All right, so now we're going to substitute in 1 for x, and we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity on both sides and continue the simplifications. And now let's substitute in h is equal to 1 over n, and you'll see why we do this on the next slide. And so we continue some simplifications. And you'll see in the numerator that we have um, a linear combination of big N to the power of small n uh, minus some number. And you'll see why we do that, because uh, it's going to make the limits uh, more intuitive to take. All right, and so we continue by saying that big N to the power of small n in the numerator and denominator cancels out. And we're left with this uh, limit as big N approaches infinity of this numerator over denominator. And that will be equal to 0. And the reason why is because you have uh, big N to the power of smaller numbers or smaller 
you know, n, n minus some number over big n to the power of uh, the, the, the largest number. And so that will actually be equal to 0 once you take the limit. So then we do some more simplification, and we see e. We see e. We see that um, that the right side is the limit as big N approaches infinity of the sum of all from small n is 0 to big N of 1 over n factorial. That was e that we derived earlier. And so we have our new definition of e, which is actually the same as the previous definition, except expressed in a different form. So we have derived two ways, two equivalent ways, to calculate and express e. But what do these limits evaluate to? Well, here it is. If you take the limit as big N approaches infinity in both cases, you get e is approximately 2.71828. And that is our e derivation, or proof, actually. All right, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.